And now it's time for the children's sermon. So if you have children nearby who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over because I've got something I think they're really going to enjoy seeing. So, hey guys, it's Pastor David here with the children's message today. And, you know, we had a holiday this past week. Anybody know what it was? What holiday? That's right. It's St. Patrick's Day was this past Thursday. And of course, uh, St. Patrick was a saint in Ireland many years ago in the country of Ireland. Um, actually, on St. Patrick's Day, a lot of people will wear something green. And if you don't wear something green, you're liable to be pinched. So you want to wear something green on St. Patrick's Day. Now, I've been to Ireland a couple of times, and I actually have a hat that I like to wear on St. Patrick's Day that I bought in Ireland. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my Irish hat on. There. What do you think? You think I, I look Irish now? Uh, yeah, well, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, did you know that St. Patrick was actually not from Ireland? Yeah, he was actually British. And you know how he got to Ireland? Oh, this is a great story. He was captured by pirates. And they took him to Ireland and sold him into slavery. And he became a slave working uh, as a shepherd. They put him way out in the middle of nowhere watching a whole bunch of, uh, of sheep. Well, eventually, of, of course, while he was out there, he had a lot of time to pray and think, and he really connected with God. And then he managed to escape and go back to England to be reunited with his family once again. But then God spoke to him, and he understood that God was calling him to go back to Ireland and tell the people in Ireland the good news of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, and to, to serve the people there. So he left his home. He went back to Ireland. He brought them the message of God's love and forgiveness. You know, one of the legends about St. Patrick is that uh, there's no snakes in Ireland because St. Patrick drove them out. I don't know. That's the legend, and there's no snakes in Ireland to this day. The one thing that I do know is that he was responsible for bringing the Christian faith to the people of Ireland. So we're thankful for St. Patrick and how he turned his misfortune into a blessing for a whole country. Let's pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the children and youth of our church and community and all those who are watching this video today and their families, we pray your blessings on them. And we give you thanks for Christians like St. Patrick who show us that even when things are not going the way we like, you can still work in and through our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.